Hello everybody, our lecture today about ultrasound of fetal skeleton anomalies. 1. Skeletal dysplasia. Approach to prenatal diagnosis. There is a wide range of rare skeletal diplasias, each with a specific recurrence risk, dysmorphic expression, and implications for neonatal survival and quality of life. The incidental discovery of a skeletal dysplasia on routine ultrasound screening, in a pregnancy not known to be at risk of a specific syndrome, necessitates a systematic examination of the limbs, head, thorax and spine to arrive at the correct diagnosis. 2. Achondrogenesis. Ultrasound diagnosis. Severe shortening of the limbs, narrow thorax, short trunk length and large head. Associated with micronathia, nucleodema and polyhydromnios. There are two types of achondrogenesis, type I, 20%, autosomal recessive, there is poor mineralization of the skull and vertebral bodies, as well as rib fractures. Type II, 80%, sporadic, there is poor mineralization of the vertebral bodies but not the skull and there are no rib fractures. 3. Achondroplasia. Ultrasound diagnosis. Short limbs, short hands and fingers, large head with frontal bossing and depressed nasal bridge, and lumbar scoliosis. Limb shortening and typical facial features become apparent greater than 22 weeks gestation. Four, asphyxiating thoracic dystrophy, ultrasound diagnosis. Phenotypic expression varies. Characteristic features are short, narrow chest with short ribs and mild to moderate trisomelic, femur and humerus, limb shortening, which may become apparent greater than 22 weeks gestation. The condition is also referred to as Jeune syndrome. Five, adelosteogenesis, ultrasound diagnosis. Severe shortening of the limbs, narrow thorax, club feet, dislocations of the hips, knees, and elbows. Associated with prominent forehead, hypertellerism, micronathia and cleft palate and hitchhiker thumbs. The features are similar, but more severe, to those of diastrophic dysplasia. Six, campomelic dysplasia, ultrasound diagnosis, shortening and bowing of the long bones of the legs, bilateral acute femoral angulation, narrow chest, hypoplastic scapulas, large cavarium with disproportionately small face, micronathia. Seven, craniosynostosis, ultrasound diagnosis, premature fusion of cranial sutures resulting in abnormal shapes of the cranium. Eight, diastrophic dysplasia, ultrasound diagnosis. Phenotypic expression varies. Characteristic features include severe shortening and bowing of all long bones, multiple joint flexion contractures and scoliosis, club feet, and abducted position of the thumbs referred to as hitchhiker thumb. Nine, Ellis von Krefeld syndrome, ultrasound diagnosis, acromelic and mesomelic shortness of limbs. Postaxial polydactyly, narrow chest, ectodermal dysplasia, and heart defects. 10. Hypophosphatasia. Ultrasound diagnosis. In the prebatal type, there is severe micromelia, severe thoracic hypoplasia, diffuse hypomineralization, decreased echogenicity, involving all the bones except for clavicles. 11. 
Yarkolovin syndrome. Ultrasound diagnosis, fusion of several vertebral bodies and misalignment with the ribs which are also fused at the part nearest the spine. The trunk is short, but the arms and legs are of normal length. 12. Osteogenesis imperfecta. Ultrasound diagnosis, spectrum of the defects characterized by fragile bones. There are at least eight recognized forms of osteogenesis imperfecta, designated type I through type 8 with overlapping characteristic features. Type I is the mildest form and type 2 is the most severe. Signs and symptoms of the other types fall somewhere between these two extremes. Most cases that present prenatally are types 2 and 3, type I, fragile bones, blue sclerae and progressive deafness. Ultrasonography in the second and third trimesters may demonstrate fractures of long bones. Type 2, short limbs and ribs with multiple fractures, hypomineralization of the skull. Type 3, multiple fractures, usually present at birth, resulting in scoliosis and very short stature. 13. Short rib polydactyly syndrome. Ultrasound diagnosis, micromelia, short ribs with hypoplastic thorax. Polydactyly, usually preaxial, there are four types of short rib polydactyly syndrome, type I, Saldino Noonan, narrow metaphysis. Type 2, Mayevsky, facial cleft and disproportionately shortened tibiae. Type 3, name off, wide metaphysis with spurs. Type 4, Beamer Langer, median cleft lip and ambiguous genitalia in some 46, Xi individuals. Fourteen, thanatophoric dysplasia, ultrasound diagnosis, severe shortening of the limbs, narrow thorax, normal trunk length and large head with prominent forehead. There are two types of thanatophoric dysplasia, type I, more common, sporadic, the femurs are curved, telephone receiver. Type II, rare, sporadic, the femurs are straight but the skull is cloverleaf shaped. 